what we're going to do here is put the, the blind cornering unit together. We have our tools set ready to go. We have a box including instructions ready to open and start. What we have here is our cordless screwdriver, a compound square or adjustable square set for the height for the, the feet, which is 145, and now just to give it a gentle tap to put things into place, make sure our edges are nice and clean and square. Okay, now we'll start assembling. This is the bottom. You can tell that by the four little imprints there that where the base goes. We line the back up with it, making sure it's flush at the top corner and the back edge there, and we'll fix our first screw. Just guide them in slowly, don't rush it. Okay, now we have all the screws in place. We have a nice flush finish on the, on the bottom here, on the edge, which means it's square and tight. Now we start attaching sides. These two little holes here denote where the rail will sit. That rail will divide the front walls to keep them square, but also be the point where you fix the bench top down to. So as long as they're at the front edge, at the top, they're correct. You'll notice with this one, there is an overhang at the back. Because walls aren't square, they just fit there, so make any adjustments to make sure that this plums the wall and you keep a nice square front edge, then fits in the wall cavity. Using the square as a guide, you see what your overhang is. And that way, you know when you fix this front, you've got a nice trim square edge, and everything will line up. Okay, now we've got this side fixed, we turn it over and repeat the process again with the next side. Lining up the front edge and the bottom edge. So by using our measure, top and bottom, it's equal so we know this is plumb and true. We fix our last side on, this is a little bit out of flush, so a gentle tap, just to bring that tight and nice and tight up there, flush. Last little bit of tighten up on these last couple of screws. And that's ready. So now we'll turn it over and put the front rail on. Okay, what I find is easier, put the screws in place here for a start. Now by putting these screws in first and just you give them a hand twist, that will hold one end up. Again, flush on the top, flush at the front. Okay, that's it. Again, a little tap just to bring that up level. Okay, now we'll turn the cabinet over and start fitting the feet. This is what we fit on first. You'll notice these two little angles. They all sit over the wall, helping support the whole cabinet. As you fit these down, just make sure you don't overdrive this very carefully so you don't crack the plastic mounting. Now that we've fitted those six, we fit the next part of the composer. Three parts to this. The first one, which has a thread on the inside, goes in the foot first. Push it in so it's firm down to the base, then fit that fairly into here. And then that simply turns in to create the adjustable leg. Now that we have the feet in place, we need to adjust them to a consistent height. The kick rails that go on these are 145 millimetres. So we set them all at 145. When it's sitting in place, we then make the minor adjustments to the floor so it's a nice level playing field. By using a combination square set at 145, we simply wind that down and then set them all the same. So just taking the weight gently, that's not very heavy, and just Maintaining the weight evenly, lift it in place, and it's set. These are the little brackets I was talking about. A simple peg that goes in the hole, and a little L bracket that supports the shelf. You'll notice there are five of these, and the reason for that is there's actually another mounting point at the back wall. Because of the length of the shelf, you don't want it to bow. Okay, our last component at this point, and there's our shelf. And as you've noticed, it actually has the white metal man edge all the way around it, so it doesn't matter which way it faces. Simply, we 
Rest on the pegs and there you have it. Coming, it's finished. Thank you.